All right. Now, I want to help you understand leveling in this part of the video. But before we can even go ahead to understand what leveling is and how to do it on the field, um, I need to explain a couple of things to you. The first one is the day to move. Okay? A day to move. Now, let's assume I have. Um, let's assume this is a particular area. Let's say the earth surface. Okay, so let's call it the earth. My marker is fading, so I'm going to change the new one. So let's call it the earth. And I have uh, a building here. For the purpose of. Uh, so let's say I have a building here. Alright, this is a building. Okay, so with this building, and I ask two people to measure the height of this building. Alright? Now let's say student A, student A stood from this point and measured the height of the building. And student B stood from here and then measured the height of the building. Now, do you think they will get the same values? If you look at this very well, you, see, you realize that this person's height will be much, much higher than this person's height. Let's say, while this person is getting 25 meters, this person will probably get 20 meters. And the reason is because this person started measuring from a depression. Now, this does not um, serve what we want because we want to always have the same height of the building anytime we come to measure, all right? So because of this problem, we have agreed upon a, a plane, okay, plane, like this. This is what we call the datum, the datum. And for the purpose of this video, it's a vertical, a vertical datum, all right? So we have agreed that, okay, if student A and student B are going to measure the same building, then they should both start from the same ground zero. Alright? So they should both start from the same ground zero like this. Alright. So that's our ground zero. My marker is fading again. So this is our ground zero. Okay? Which means that if student A and student B stand from these points, so let's say A and B, and then measure the height of the building, they should be getting the same heights or the same distances, all right? Because they started from the same ground zero. Unlike in the first scenario where they both started from different heights or different planes, all right? So that's the idea behind it too. The reason is mostly the earth is not flat, so if you want to measure, um, if you want to measure um, the height between two places, then you need a reference cone, which is a flat plane, so that you can say that at every place um, the height of this point is this, with reference to the datum. All right? I'm sure I'll be explaining it a little further. So let's say we have. Um, I'm just going to wipe the spot. Alright, so let's say we have oh, my marker. So let's say these are two towns, town A and then let's say this is town B. Alright. Now with these two towns, what you want to do is in most of the times you want to you want to, especially when you are doing topographic maps, you want to always know the height differences between these two. Or in a situation where you are constructing a, a, draw, a drain or a road or whatever, you always want to know the height between these two so that with that difference, you can be able to tell maybe where water will flow, I mean the direction of water, um, how high your drain should be, the slope with which you should go, and all those things. Slope. Like this. So actually there are a lot of parameters that can be derived from heights. Now I'm going to show you how the field work or sub-leveling is done in order to obtain heights in the next session.